Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Nuramnya Taviani, and today I would like to present also mathematics work problem about sets with Venn diagrams. So here's the problem. In a group of 40 students, 22 are taking algebra, 18 are taking biology, 14 are taking chemistry, 9 are taking algebra and biology, 7 are taking algebra and chemistry, 5 are taking biology and chemistry, and 2 are taking all 3 courses. Uh, and the question is, how many students are not taking any of these courses? Uh, so there is a lot of information. Uh, and we have to write the given information first. So here's the given. Uh, the, the first one is the number of universal set uh, equal to 40 uh, and the number of set A or for algebra is 22. The number of B set uh, or for biology is equal to 18. The number or the number of set C uh, is equal to 14 and then and we get some intersection here. Uh, the first one is the number uh, of set A intersection B equal to 9. The number of set A intersection C equal to 7. And the number of set B intersection C is 5. And the number of set A intersection B also with C is 2. And uh, we would like to solve this problem with Venn diagram. So uh, we have to make a Venn diagram. And let's start uh, with make a rectangle and start filling this in. This is universal set, and I'm gonna have three circles here. One for set A, one for set B, and one for set C. Uh, and the easiest thing to do is start with the smallest part or, or the smallest area. The smallest area uh, that we have here is two are taking all three courses. Uh, which that means uh, the number of set A intersection B intersection C uh, equal to 2. So we have to fill this middle, the in the middle, in the little triangle here with two students. Uh, and then we got some intersections. The first is the number of set A intersection B is 9, but uh, 2 is. Uh, accounted for so uh, that means we have seven students in here and then uh, we have uh, the number of set A intersection C is equal to seven uh, and two uh, is accounted uh, of them so we have to fill this area with 5 and then uh, we have some intersection uh, the first is the number of set B intersection C is equal to 5 but 2 is accounted for of them so that means we have 3 more students in here and then uh, from this diagrams uh, uh, I can find the how many students who are taking only algebra uh, and we you know the, is the number is uh, algebra set uh, is equal to 22 but uh, we have uh, this number in here so I would like to add up this 7 plus 2 is 9 uh, plus 5 is 14 uh, and I would like to subtract the number from 22. So I got 8 here. And I will do the same thing for the set B. Uh, I will add up 7 plus 2 is 9. Uh, and plus 3 is 12. So I will subtract this number from 18. So I got six students in here who are taking only biology uh, and the last is set C uh, or uh, how many students who are taking only chemistry uh, I would add up 
5 plus 2 is 7 and plus 3 is 10 uh, and I would like to subtract this number from 14 so I got 4 students in here uh, and I'll, I have to do uh, for answer this question how many students are not taking any of these courses is I would add up uh, all of this number and subtract it from the number of universal set uh, or 40 uh, so 8 is plus 7 is 15 and plus 6 is 20 to 21 uh, and first 3 is 24 and plus 2 is 26 and plus 5 is 31 and plus 4 is 35 so uh, I would like to subtract 35 from 40 so I got 5 students in here so the conclusion is uh, how many students are not taking any of these courses so uh, the answer is the, uh, the students who are not taking any of these courses is 5 students so that's all from me uh, sorry for my mistaken words uh, thank you for this, watching this video uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh